All righty, let's get this party started. Let's do this. What's up? All right, I got to check. I got to find myself. Make sure everything looks good. Got to get the pop out chat going. There's the chat. Boom. Looks like I'm live. Boom. Yep. What's up, Jesse? Universal Key, what's up? <clears throat> There's Cobra Berry, Chris, Glue Sniffer. Oh. Hey, Jared. How you doing, buddy? Hey, Jeanette. Um, there's Velvet Woods, Kevin's in the house. Ah, save another tree Tuesday. What's up, Chris? Jay, man, I hope, I hope I can, I hope I can give you something that will make it less dreary. What's up, Blair? Just click. So, yeah. Hello. Once again, I'm early. I need to just change this to like six. Uh, no, I was actually wrapping some stuff up and I just like, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and go. Let's just do it. Um, nice, Jared. DM me. Let me know what your luck was, buddy. I need to talk to you anyway. So, yeah, DM me. Let me know. What's up, Dragon? Scott? H. Green. Better known as Harold Green. The best toy photographer on the planet, Harold Green. Check him out on Instagram. Uh, what's up, Wire? J Rod? For J Rod, welcome. Welcome to the first, your first live stream. That's awesome. Uh, thanks, Blair. I, I hope, I hope I could help. That's the purpose a lot of times, is just. Can I help? <laughs> uh, so yeah, that the the if you haven't seen the video, so today's video was a review of Peter B. Parker. Screwdrivers make really good things to scratch with. Just saying. What's up, Mary? Hey, Andy. Um, it me personally, that wave is pretty. It's pretty cool. But I'm, I'm, I think I said it in, in the video. Um, sometimes the whole wave is just not for a person, but certain figures are. So that's sort of the way I look at it. Um, you know, the uh, Peter B. Parker was the one that I really wanted to get just because I felt like it had some really cool um, things about the jacket, the cup. Uh, there was a comment on the video and it was so funny. Uh, let me see if I can find it. Oh, what was it? Uh, from um, Happy Gilmore, his instructor had the fake hand. Was it Chubb? But that's what that he said. The the comment was that's what the hand reminded him of. And I went and looked at the figure again. I'm like, yes, that's exactly what it reminds me of. Barry, you're absolutely right. That is a really good head sculpt on that. Both of them. Oh, nice, Jared. Chubbs. Yeah, I mean, so when I looked at that hand again on the figure, that literally is exactly what it reminds me of now. It's a, like a perfect representation of that, of that. Be patient, Jay. You'll see him, man. Nice, Mary. Um, I really enjoy doing those review videos. I really, truly do. And that's one of the things, if you haven't noticed, what I'm trying to do is if I find something really cool that I like personally, like if I pick up a figure uh, going forward in 2021, I'm going to try to do a review of it the very next day. So if I do a hunt video and I find something cool uh, that I pick up, I want to try to do a review video for the next one. So 2021, we're still... You're probably going to see that trend more. Um, but 
And that's where 2020 really got me in 2019 is I'd find some figures that are really, really cool. I'd put them aside and I'd wait. But now I'm just like, no, I'm not going to wait. The chair glue stiffer Hobby Lobby over in the dollhouse section. It's a chair set, a chair, uh, two benches, and a, and a, I guess a, a bench and some footstools and the chair. And uh, they're wood. So I just threw some primer on it and repainted it some of my Death Watch color. So Predators. Can't go wrong with Preds. Cannot go wrong with Preds. I got some Preds. It's a Switch. There's Christopher. <laughs> That's a good one. Oh, my goodness. What's up, Kenneth? Uh, Daniel was pretty good. Uh, not not bad. Uh, <laughs> funny thing happened. This is so not toy related, but it was, it was actually pretty funny. Um, <laughs> so I do uh, food prep like for work, like meal prep. And what I do on Mondays is I take a bunch of the food that I'm going to eat through the week, like breakfast and things like that to work because we have a kitchen at work. So I prepare things, you know. <laughs> so I took stuff there yesterday and uh, they did a fridge clean out. Yeah, and they threw all my stuff away. <laughs> True story. I mean, I have a name on it. It was, it was so funny. <laughs> you had to laugh about it. It was like, chunked it. Uh, Ace Ventura. Nice. What's up, JR? Yeah, it was. Yeah, I was. When I went to work, so I didn't know they did it until I went to work this morning. So I go in there to prepare, and there's nothing to prepare. So, yeah, that happened. You just you can't make stuff like that up. It just no. Yeah, it was definitely a whoops. It was a whoops. Man, we already got almost fifty people in here. Wow. Not a Ren. What's up, buddy? I got your box. I got your box, man. We got some boxes we're going to open up. Uh, Not a Ren sent me something, but we're going to wait till we have at least. 55 people in here before I crack open a box or before I even entertain crack with a, a crack and open a box. It does feel rather, in fact, it feels rather interesting. And I also have a box from um, Thurman. I think that's what it says. Or T. Herman. I'm not for sure. It's from Virginia. But yeah. What's up, Jay? So listen. I don't know. I don't know what's in the box. Uh, please, what's up? Nice, Jared. I actually picked up. <laughs> I'm not going to say. Max Boss. Hey. Hey. Look, here's the thing. I honestly... If someone takes the time out of there today, whether to send me a card, a letter, a Tootsie Pop, I don't care. It means the world to me because, you know, you took the time out of your day, your life, and you were thinking of me, and that, that means a lot. So, no shaky shake. Okay. No more. What's up, Anthony? Uh, the Mando helmet, that's a heavy Mandalorian helmet that I'm working on. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, I actually done, only got about half of it sanded uh, yesterday. I actually wasn't planning on starting the sanding when I got home. But I just had to try it. And once I started, and I'm just like, you know. And then I just stopped at half because what I wanted to do when I, when I posted that photo is to show you the side that was sanded and the side that wasn't sanded just to sort of give you a uh, perspective. It is a 3D printed helmet. Uh, when you when you get a 3D printed helmet, uh, you have to prep it after you get it, 
And the dependent, most of the people that I follow that do any kind of custom helmets with 3D prints, they use the uh, spot filler uh, glaze, the Bondo glaze that's the red that's on that helmet. Um, and what that does is it evens out all the lines because it, it is to try to sand out print lines is just no. So you cover the whole helmet with that. It sands really easy. It's messy. <laughs> it's very messy. Um, J Music, I, I don't know. If, thank you for that, but I don't know about that, but thank you. Um, no, I didn't get pummeled by the snow. But anyway, so when you do a 3D print, you have to do post prep work after you get it to get a, a finish on it. So to get rid of the lines. Uh, yeah, exactly. Switch, you know, I mean, it's one of those things to where typically the one person that I follow, uh, Galactic Armory, I follow him a lot. He does a lot. Simplify, I mean, simplify. And I think he usually goes about two to three layers of that Bondo filler. He'll sand it all down, put another one, sand it down, put another one, sand it, and then comes back with spray primer filler, a couple of coats of that. So, yeah, I got a lot of sanding and a lot of applying. Yeah. <laughs> I, I got one comment oh dang it it was so funny it just tickled me uh, about taking the hel the helmet putting it on some center blocks it reminded him of his dad's like Vega back in the day which I could totally relate to that that's right get that subscribe button going 63 people what do we really yes we do all right ren i got two boxes do you want your box to be open first or second i have a few fig pins not a lot of them though i got two actually i just got two so i'm gonna let ren decide whether he goes first or second The fine details, they don't they don't get lost because the only thing you're doing is covering up the print lines. Um, now on the heavy Mandalorian helmet, the fine details, there's not a tremendous amount, the ear pieces, but they're mainly bigger. Um, but I am very careful when I put the Bondo in there, like not try to get in on huge amount of gaps and stuff. Because you definitely don't want to fill in the gaps. All right, Ren said open up his last. I'm going to open up this one. Let's see. This is, like I said, this is all the way from Virginia. Virginia. What's up, Pop Thing? Long live the Vega. That's right. Actually, the Sith Trooper helmets, you could get away with a lot. Uh, their lines went more this way where the print. So technically, if you cut the print right and positioned it right on the printer, the 3D, the 3D print lines would probably be beneficial. All right, I'm going to try to do this right here. I'm going to go ahead and... Remove this part. Let go. All right. There's that. Oh, Mary. That, that would be. Whoo. That would be. Uh, that'd be. That'd be brutal. All right. Okay. There's. Uh, oh, we got. We got. We got notage. So there's letterage and notage. Notage. Greg, greetings from Richmond. Uh, 
Facebook message, December. Okay, I'm it's it's yeah, I'm trying. Okay. Uh but, but December watching your video during COVID. Started toy hunting again. Yes. Appreciate your perspective very much. Found this and wanted to pass along. Stay safe and thanks. John Thurman. Okay. John. What could it be? Packaged well. What could it be? Do we care to do we care to have a guess? This is awesome. This is great. This is so cool. <laughs> right there. Yeah. Yes. Yes. All right, hang on. I gotta get the I gotta get a get the box. <laughs> so all right. I've got one downstairs. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We are up to nine. We are up to nine of these bad boys. I'm going to leave that back out. And I, I, might, I mean, I might as well just try to do the 21. I'm just saying. Everything is 21 this year. So, John, thank you so much. This is awesome. It's, it's it's like I think I said it in my last stream. So probably towards the end of the year, like and I'm all, I'm serious, twenty one, because I want to try to find an actual. I don't know. I might actually have to make it, but I'm gonna try to find something that I could actually put these cars like this in a frame in a in some kind of a shadow box or a frame like this and display them that's exactly what i'm gonna do with this i've already made my mind up every one of these if I, i've never still have never seen these in my area but i will be if i find these in my area i'm gonna be picking them up and regardless if I hit the 21 or not, the only reason I got 21 is because it's 2021. Um, so technically 20 would be in the frame because I got the one downstairs. But that's what I'm going to do with these. I'm literally going to make a Captain Rex Hot Wheel art piece out of these. So, John, you have contributed to the art piece. Yes. Uh, 21 in 2021, right? Yeah, it's weird. I see so many people have found those in stores. I'm not seeing it at Dollar General, Target, Walmart. Somebody told me Kroger. I do have a Kroger about 30 miles away. I haven't tried that one yet. Um, so yeah, it's, it still baffles me how toys cycle through. It really does. Um, quantities and everything. Hot Wheels have really started to fascinate me because I see a lot of Hot Wheels in stores. I see a lot of Hot Wheel boxes. But now you got Hot Wheels like this that are, you know, hit and miss. It's crazy. No, Walgreens is like, eh. Yes, sir. Jesse, you are absolutely right. They do sell them. That would be cool, Jay. If every one of them was like like signed on there, that would be even cooler. And I've got I've got stuff on there. And I don't I might do I don't know how I might do something along that lines, but uh
Yeah, Ren. It's it's like it's crazy. It's it's just weird. My I've checked Michaels. Um, I haven't checked. I'll be honest. I have not checked auto parts stores. I've seen Hot Wheels in auto parts stores. I have not specifically went on a hunt in a in an auto zone in an auto zone or something like that looking for Hot Wheels. Yeah, Jay, I'm I'm with you on that one. That Silver Surfer, yes. Oh, you want to go ahead and do it now? Dang, we got 80 people in here already? What? Dang. Are you sure, Ren? You want to go ahead and do it now? All right, Ren. I got to be mindful here. I don't want to show you address. Liverpool, what's up, Graham? All right. Oh, a tip when you're opening up boxes, you put your thumb like right there and you stick it in. Your thumb will keep you from going too deep. Just a little tidbit. All right. All right. We got, we got letterage. We got letterage. All right. I like that. The, the letterage and that. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Greg. Oh, I, I'm going to read this first because I thought he said something about don't read this. I don't know. <laughs> All right. <laughs> hey, Greg. Ren here. Thought I'd put together this box for you. You're one of the nicest guys in the YouTube toy community, and I consider you a friend. Back at you. Back at you, Ren. So... <laughs> So now, open the box. So he's got a little thing here that was messed up. LOL. Best wishes. Take care. <laughs> oh, Ren. Ren is cool. I need to find the link to it, uh, but Ren actually was part of a live stream I did at a GameStop. He actually came in, met him, his sister, dad. Make sure your address is here. What? 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 This is insane. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Where to begin? Hey, look, guys. I got a Captain Rex car. Yes. Hey, guys. I got a Captain Rex car. Yes. Hey, wow. Guys, I got a Captain Rex car. Oh my God, this is great. This is great. I'm so stoked over this. What? Ren, what are you doing, brother? What are you doing? What are you doing, dude? All right. For, okay, got something else. Oh, looky there. Yes. Yes. Yes, we're going we're gonna to pose him up. But it's not over. Oh, look, I got a Captain Rex. Oh, wait a minute. I already pulled that one out. That was that was weak. That was so weak. Oh, check this out. Oh, mini figs, and battle droids. Yes. Look, battle droids. Troopers. Green, you shouldn't. You really shouldn't have done this, though, man. Look at this. Wow. The tank kit. I've already got one of these, which is, this is such a cool kit. Ren, dude, you should not have done this, my friend. Thank you so much. This is awesome. And all these, all these battle droids and figs go with it. This is so cool. This is actually really cool. The tank is a cool thing. Yeah, Ren. Yeah, dude. I'm not going to take this out of the bag because I need to put it all, all together. 
it's still pretty much together, but I don't want to lose anything. But these little, these mini figs, they're so cool. He kept a, a suka. He told me in, in the note, that's cool, bro. You didn't have to do this, man. The, the freaking Captain Rex cars killed it. This is awesome. So what I'm about to do, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'm up to twelve of these bad boys. That's just crazy. That is so cool. John, Ren, you guys are amazing. Amazing. I don't even, words can't even describe it. Stuff like this just literally blows my mind. Blows my mind each and every time. Uh, ben Edwards, uh, about three years ago, give or take. Um, yeah. Um, Man of Steel, no, I did not yet. It looks cool. I just don't, I don't know. I have a feeling my GameStop's going to get one in. Um, Jay, that's a great answer to Richard's question. There you go, Richard. That was a good answer. I don't think I could, you know, answer that any better. <laughs> uh it's Kenneth. It is hard to see the character cars. Like I've only found them once in in my toy hunts. I actually grabbed like four of them uh, at that time, and that was the only ones that I, I saw. But I do like that. That new Hulk looks cool, though. It does look cool. Nice. Order two of them. I'm assuming you're gonna do one in box and one out of box. If I had to assume. Nice. Shot down. That's Ollie's. That's a good. That's that's not a bad place to check into. I understand that completely, Ren. I understand. It, it is so hard when you send somebody something um, and, and sort of can't, you know, like hint to it. <sighs> Richard, that's a very good question. I have not decided yet. I've got a, I've got a ways to go. I have honestly have no idea. I'm gonna put together something though. The giveaways that I've done have been pretty cool. Um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do for 21. Yeah, the price point on that, that's um, straight up for what that Thundercat vehicle costs is a 3D printer. So. Uh, oh, Jeanette, did you find it? Nice. <laughs> you know, the thing about the thing about the toy community, um, and I don't know uh, as far as, you know, Richard, I mean, I don't know how active you are in the toy community or anything like that. My experience with the toy community is, man, everybody helps everybody. I have seen so many people like hooking people up and like just trades and gifting and sending things. It's insane what people do in the toy community. And I'm not talking about people on YouTube. I'm talking about in the toy community here in my local area. Um, People are just trying to hook people up. They give them tips and they tell people when stuff's in stores. It's crazy. <laughs> uh, let's see here. See, Jason. Yeah, the Super 7 looks great. Yeah, the Cobra Viper. That, man. That thing is crazy. Dark, dark night. You're absolutely right. I mean, it's, um, 
I've been a part of a lot of things in my life, a lot of things. And again, now we have, we do have our dark side per se, but it's to me very minimal. Um, but the amount of like almost instant connections and instant friendships and just, it's, it's actually really flipping cool. I've met a lot of people through the toy community some I have met face to face. Some it's only uh, virtually, like through Instagram or Messenger, Facebook uh, comments on videos. Um, but I can't tell you how many times people have sent me pictures. Uh, a good example. Let me pull this up real quick. I'm gonna give her a shout out. Let me. Uh, uh, Susan uh, Tutter, I think that's how you pronounce her last name. She emails me literally, like almost on a daily basis, she, multiple times. Like I've gotten three, I think four. Wait a minute, no, yeah, one, two, three. I've gotten four emails from her today with her sharing with me what she found hunting today. And she, she and she'll send me emails. Hey, I saw this at my Target or my Walmart. I thought I'd let you know so you could keep a lookout for it. I mean, four emails today, and I can't even count how many direct messages, Facebook messages, Instagram messages. It's it's amazing to me. It's awesome. It's crazy. Crazy good though. I'm just, I'm sorry. I'm reading squirrel. <laughs> Bob looks like every day. Bob, Bob's doing good. I think Bob's getting lonely. Germany, welcome. I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, <laughs> that's a valid point. Um, that's, you know, I don't think any has made it to Kent pool yet. Um, and again, I, I personally just think it'd be great. I do know this, that any of the hand ninjas that I, if I ever find any, I will be sending him my legs for sure. Um, but <laughs> I just think it'd be funny, you know, for Kent just to get like all these like stilt man legs. Gentleman patrols in the house. What's up? Welcome. I love these. These are such cool figures. If, if, this right here, literally, if you had a hundred of these, would be amazing. It's like these are such a great trooper. Things are awesome. Yeah, I mean, like I said, every if if like I, said, I don't have no plans to army build the uh, the hand ninjas, two of them would be cool to have. Kent is definitely getting the legs out of them because I just think it would be amazing for Kent to get uh, a twenty one foot tall stilt man. <laughs> um, Wanda Vision. I will be honest. I have not made it through uh, the first. I, I have made it completely through the first episode. I've not made it past. I need to just sit down and force myself to uh, blow through it and just see what happens. But it's really, really been hard on me. <laughs> Trying to, I don't know. It looks good though. I mean, I just, I don't know. It just, that first episode just really, I don't know. It just sort of, I'm not going to say, I'm not, it's, I don't think it's bad. It just, I think it's like Stranger Things. You, you know, it's got those, you've got to make it through a certain point. I'm going to, I'm going to borrow your stand's table here because this is the reason why I like these clone troopers. These things pose great. Look at this. A kneeling rifle up to the shoulder. I mean, 
look, I mean, look at this. I mean, come on. You don't, that's, it poses so easy. I have definitely, this is another one that if I find them, I'm picking them up. Every single bloody one of them I can find, I will be grabbing these. These things can be, they can be customized. They can be repainted. You can create your own units. I mean, but the posability on these things are just stupid amazing. Uh, let's see here. Well, Richard, I can tell you this. You're not going to get it when I pass on. <laughs> so there, I tell you that right now, if you really want to know an answer. <laughs> yeah, Lord, I just, I think I need to just, you know, plus I'm in the middle of doing something for work and, and so, and then making videos. I really haven't watched a lot of TV lately, so. But yeah, I need to, I just need to, I need to do it. Um, what's up? Just catching up. <laughs> oh. Well, I mean, my, 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 I mean, I guess if, if it's relevant, if people really want to know everything that I got, I would probably, um, I'd just probably have my wife just donate it, just donate it to some kids, you know, uh, the first figure I picked up actually is downstairs. It actually was a six scale photography uh, uh, figure and that's what um that's literally what got me into it was that one figure and then i started uh following a uh, galactic warfighter and because he's a he's a marine and he does a lot of great work with six scale figures and posing and, and photography and he creates he uses his six scale figures to recreate actual scenes that happened in history in the military. I uh, messaged him several times. We chatted and there it went. You know, then I started following uh, Cincy Nerd, Josh Pence, uh, run across a really cool guy, Noob Skywalker. I don't know if you guys ever heard of him or not, but he's a really cool guy. I consider him a really good friend of mine, you know. Just wonder if anybody in the chat can identify Noob Skywalker. Just curious. Ain't it, Ren? I mean, that's, see, that's the beauty of these, these figures. These figures pose great. <laughs> Look at Mary dropping some knowledge. <laughs> uh... That is right. The man, the myth, the legend. Jetta Patrol. Um, yeah, and then it just it's just moved really quick. Um, I'm watching everything at home. I'm not going to a movie theater. I'm sorry. I'm just not. Uh, it's just not. I, I can't do it. I can't do it. I just, yeah. O OG Geek, I like, OG Geek, I like, I've met him a couple of times. He is such a cool dude. Such a cool dude. Mr. Snow, I've not heard of that, Jay. I will definitely look. Yes, the little things. <laughs> As, as such, I, I mean, I don't claim to be any kind of first-rate movie critic. I know what I like, but that movie was just, I don't know, it's just good to me. 
Drive-in theater? Now, see, I, I, I don't have no problem with drive-in theater. I actually like drive-in theaters. We have one 30 miles, 40 miles that way, I think. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm, I miss the movie theaters. I used to go to the movies like Sunday matinees, like crazy. Love Sunday matinees. We got 97 people. When three more people jump, jump in here, I'm going to share some information with you guys. That is not toy related, but I think it's pretty cool. Me personally. We got 98 people in here. My real time is different than my phone. My phone says 98. Oh, my, Lori, if I'd have went to the movie theater for WW84, I would have seriously been so disappointed. I'm sorry. And I've watched it twice. And that's it. I'm not watching it no more. It was not enough Wonder Woman. To me, the best scene in the whole movie was her as the little girl competing in that competition. That was like the best thing in the whole movie for me. Yeah, the, the new releases, they only stay on for 28 days. Oh, man. Come on. We got 93. We got to move up. Yes, Man of Steel. I cannot wait for Godzilla versus Kong. I'm a... Yes. I can't wait. I think that's going to be just a good movie. Nice. Very cool. It, WW84, it's not like it's a terrible movie. It's just to me, to me, compared to Wonder Woman and WW84, Wonder Woman was all Wonder Woman. With It was like, 80% Wonder Woman, 20% Diana Prince. WW84 was 80% Diana, 20% Wonder Woman. So, Team God, see, I'm, I'm, I like, I grew up with Godzilla, but I'm personally, I'm Team, I'm Team Kong. Because I love Skull Island. Two. Ooh, we're at a hundred. Dun dun dun. All right. So, sorry, but I got to move you out of the way for now. For now, don't don't. I'm coming back. Oh, and an FYI, the lieutenants, they pose this great as well. These country, they they pose great. Um. All right. Got 103 in here. Man, this is great. All right. So a few weeks ago, probably maybe a month or more ago, might have even been 2020 when it started. So we have a company here in Chattanooga. It's called Chattanooga Beard Company. And I use their products. Um, I, I know one of the guys that works there. I've met with him. He's a really cool guy. Uh, where I get my beard trimmed, they have their products as well. But they started an online beard competition. Now, this beard competition was on the internet. It was on Facebook. Through their, they posted it all on Facebook. It was open to anybody, whoever was on Facebook, and whoever knew about their group, whatever, their Facebook page. I think, I want to say they was like 1,500 entries or 2,000, I can't remember the exact number, but they was like a decent amount of people. And I'll be honest with you, I didn't really think much about it because everybody that entered it like sent a photo and entered it was going to get 40% off product and I'm like hey 40% off product for a photo Psh, yeah um but yours truly made the 64 contestant cut 
There's 64 of us now. And they're doing it over the next six weeks. It's a bracket system. Uh, I am in uh, one bracket of 32. There's another bracket. Of this. So they're doing it sort of like March Madness. So you got 64, two brackets of 32. Then you're going to have two brackets, I think, of 16, two brackets of eight, two brackets of four, and two brackets of two. Then mono y mono for the championship. Now, Here's the beauty. The grand prize of this is like an authentic world championship or beer championship belt. Like you would see on WWE or whatever. And plus there's some other stuff. There's like some, uh, the grand prize winner gets everything. And then there's prizes as you move through the brackets and if you win. Uh, but I'm not going to lie. I had a conversation with my buddies, Ryan and Kent the other night, and I truthfully didn't feel I, I would even make the 64 cut. And when I did make the 64 cut, I'm like, wait a minute. Now all of a sudden I sort of want to win. <laughs> and here's the crazy thing. I'm going to read this to you. This is actually the email that was sent out to us, to the 64 people, you know, it says, Hey everybody, don't forget to vote for your favorite contestant. Okay. And go to the website, cast your vote. Remember, it's not about the longest beard or the biggest beard, but the person you think that has facial hair. Okay, cool. Well, they also said, Share this and tell people to vote for you. Okay. Well, guess what? The voting starts at Monday at 6 a.m. Eastern and runs through that Friday till midnight. So for the next six weeks, we will talk about this on Tuesday nights. I'm just saying. All right. So here is the link. I'm going to post the link. Jared, yep, all right. I did. If you follow me on Facebook, and I posted it on Facebook. Um, oh, is that link going to work? Hang on. Is that link too big? What? Oh, it's too big. What? Okay, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Why is that link so big? All right, hang on. We're not we're not done yet. I'm gonna I'm gonna find it. So you go. To, I think you go to Chattanooga Beard Company. Let's see here. That is it is a bit. It's two hundred and forty five characters. What? Hang on. Is this gonna fool my master plan? Is it? <laughs> Let me get rid of this. All right, hang on, man. I'm going to see if they got a, a link to their competition. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Yes. Here we go. Let's see. All right. There's the link right there. Now, I am. There's 32 people. And here's the You don't got to register or nothing like that. There's a thing down there with a first name, last name. That's just if you want the newsletter. But basically, you go through and pick. So, like, you vote. There's the first one, second one, third one. I am the fourth one. Yes, I just voted for myself. Uh, I'm going through the whole process again. And there's actually some really, there's actually some really good, good looking beards in here. I'm not gonna lie. There's some good, good looking beards. And it's for. Like I said, I'm just saying. Most of my hot toys are Stormtroopers. I do have a Deadpool. I have a Mythos Obi-Wan. I have a Concept Cap. But most of them are um, Stormtroopers. I do have, not, I got Kylo, but it's things without head skulls is what I mainly uh, vote. 
So when you go through, if you go, because when you go through the whole thing, like the all 32, um, I was going to tell you guys something. So I'm at 32 now. At the very bottom of it, it should show you your predictions. And on the left side, you'll see Chattanooga Beard Company, that bracket. And you'll scroll down, and, and the names that are in bold are the leaders of those two. Like, they pair you up. And there I am. I'm still leading. So, here's the thing. <laughs> I legitimately... I just think, hey, let's use the power of social media. Let's use the power of the toy community. So every Tuesday night on the live stream, we'll, we won't talk about it this much, but we'll mention it. Feel free to share if you want to with your family and friends, coworkers, strangers. I don't care. But... <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I want this championship belt. I mean, can you imagine? Whoa. Big old championship belt. Best beard. What would that say? A, a toy person. A person that collects toys. Won this. What does that say to our community? Yes, that means we're strong. We're united. We can make things happen. We can change the world. <laughs> but I'm not going to lie. <laughs> there's some really, there's some really good looking beards out there. But it ain't about that. It's about us and the toy community becoming one, conquering everything. <laughs> No, shot down a flame. I just grew it. When I, I used to just have this right here. This is all I used to have right here. Then I just grew a beard. Well, Richard, that's awesome, brother, because Girl Scout cookies are awesome. If you don't like Girl Scout cookies, there's something wrong with you. <laughs> Man of Steel, may the beard be with you. And see, to me, I think, number one, it, this is just something fun. It really is. Uh, like I said, uh, Chattanooga Beard Company, it's a really good company. It's um, self-created. Um, they make really good products. If you do have a beard and you want products, I highly recommend them. You know, I don't get anything off of it. I'm not sponsored by them or have any affiliation with them i buy their products for retail just like everybody else does uh, thank you um but they do make really good products and are made local so yes charlie he'll only beat me if we let him beat me but they are some they are some really there's one guy he's actually in my bracket he's got the sunglasses on uh, and he's like really like white right here. And he's got like a thin mustache. That's a wicked cool looking beard. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that right there just means you don't. Van Edwards. It's a great city. Wait, <laughs> wait a minute. You only shave like one side like this? Wow. Actually, uh, no, Catfish. He's not. Because honestly, I truthfully, when this thing, it was a whim. Because the picture I submitted was just like a quick little shot. And I... I truthfully, honestly, never even thought for a million dollars that I would have been a part of the 64. Because in my area, especially, we got some wicked looking, we got wicked looking beards. Wicked looking beards. But anyway, thank you all for 
participating. I just thought it'd be something fun. I thought it'd be something funny. If it happens, it happens. If it don't, it don't. It's all about just having some good, clean fun and just, you know. And I and this crazy thing, like I said, it's uh it's amazing how a competitive spirit actually gets into you and when when you see your name as part of a bracket of, you know, sixty four people and you're just like, Wow. Yeah, one side was clean. What? Man of Steel, if you have a picture of that, please DM me that. I would love to see that. Mike, Ren hooked me up with, let's do a recap. So Ron hooked me up with a Captain Rex car. Ren hooked me up with three Captain Rex cars. Plus uh, the, the tank Lego set with the troopers and the battle droids and this awesome clone trooper that poses great as I knock him off. So yeah, we, um, <laughs> I think I'm up to 12 Captain Rex cars now. So, uh, yeah. And like I said earlier, if, the 21 is, if, if for some strange reason I get 21 of these things, I am going to put them all in a frame like this and display it in like a, a shadow box frame. Like I said, I may have to have it made, but it will be framed. I think it'd be a cool art piece. I really do. I don't know why. I just think it'd be a cool art piece. So there. That's the plan for the Rex cars. Nice. Thank you. Yes. Uh, catch up on some comments. What are your thoughts? Uh, Mary, pop game. Uh, Ryan, he's not out of the pop game. He's still got some pops. It's just one of those things to where as collectors, I think we all truthfully reevaluate collections i know i've reevaluated to a degree um you can't collect it all you can't number one and you got to collect what you love what you like and what really just is you so i think at some point um every collector takes a step back and, and just looks at a collection and it says, you know what? I don't need, you know, 800 Funko Pops and 200 Black Series and, you know, however many legends and statues and hot toys and things like that. Um, I know I've, I've gotten pickier really easy. Uh, and I think a lot of that has helped me because of COVID and the lack of toys has really helped me to look at things differently because I'm not seeing as much stuff out as I did in 2019 and early 2020. So as we went through this whole pandemic and supply was cut off and lockdowns and everything else, it actually makes it easy if you think about it to not collect a lot of things or to consolidate and to move towards one direction. So yeah, I totally get it. Um, let's see here. Do, do, do. It was like, I can only imagine that. Uh, da, 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 da. Ooh, Mike, man, dude, sorry to hear that. Anytime, guys, I'm. Oh, man, you got the black light Batman. So that one's that one. Is that the one that was that hot topic? Because I missed it the day it dropped. They only got like six of them in. Um, now me, 
I don't know. I find enjoyment out of a lot of different things. Me personally, from Legos to Funko Pops to minis. I personally, you know, Hot Wheels. I find a lot of enjoyment out of uh, a ton of different figures. And 99.9% of that is just due to the fact that I enjoy photographing figures so much and creating things and trying to look at things differently, like, you know, She Hulk, you know. But, you know what? Who's. I haven't tried a clone trooper yet. Let's see how let's see how he does. Woohoo! Look at there. <laughs> That'll work. Uh oh. Almost. Hang on. Ta da! <laughs> Troopers on, on Toy Story. Um, but no, that's just, like I said, it's, um, like I could, me, my, me, me personally, I could never be just a pop collector. I mean, when I first started collecting, I didn't even like pops. The only reason I got into pops is I made a deal with myself and said, I'll never collect pops until I find a chase in the wild. And when I found that fun time, Freddy chase right there, that's what started it. But after I got to looking at Pops more, more closely, I started realizing these things are cool. You know, they, um, they have a lot of character to them. And then when you, you when you, uh, I think I've got it over here. Let me look before I mention it. Yes. <laughs> I love this pop. And then I discovered a company called Stylize. And uh, Stylize right there. Boom. And, and that actually took pops to a whole nother level. <laughs> this is more of a goofy one. Is they make these eye stickers that you can put on Funko Pops. So I put those eyes on snow. <laughs> he looks goofy. He really does. Um, but then that gives it a whole nother level of character. So it, it's all about what, what you like, you know, what's up? Kent pulls in the house. Um, so yeah, it doesn't matter what you collect, what you like. What what genre? You know, it should be all about just having fun and enjoying enjoying your collection. I hope that's what it's about. That's what it should be about. Ah, <sighs> see, like Charlie, he's like he just said he collects Transformers. I have one Transformer. And it's the Megatron that was uh, sent to me. Um, I really appreciate the uh, the Transformers line. It's it's just something that hasn't. I don't know. It just it's not for me. But they're amazing figures. Amazing. The details insane on those things. Yes. Um, Zodiac, see, and it's, it's like, you know, and Jared, everybody collects too much. I mean, legitimately, but now like for some <clears throat> folks that may not know this every year, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, I go through my pop collection and donate to toys for tots. And I think last year, last year and this year I've averaged about 200 or more pops that I've donated, uh, out of my collection. So 
a lot of times when I buy things, especially Funko Pops, and I really get some photos out of them and I really like what they look like, but it may be something that is not near and dear to my collection. I know that come October, those pops are getting donated and they're going to move on to a, another family. Um, this year I'm planning on doing the same thing, but I'm going to put, I'm going to add to it six inch figures, things like that. Um, but that's what I do with my collection every year. Um, I guess some people could say, Hey, why don't you just sell it? But I'll get more enjoyment donating it uh, every year. Um, so yeah, that's the way I sort of manage my madness. Um, nice. Nothing wrong with turtles. You got 410 Transformers. Wow, David. That is awesome, dude. Wow. Thanks, Mary Lou. I appreciate that. See, I didn't get into Hot Wheels until these Star Wars cars. And I started finding these really, like the Sith Trooper and Storm Troopers. And I thought, man, these things are cool. And <clears throat> the only Hot Wheels I collect are Star Wars cars. Right? It's crazy. Um, well, I, I challenge... Everybody, if you have a collection that needs to be thinned out, now, number one, nothing wrong with selling your collection. Uh, Ryan, Jet Patrol, he talks about this a lot. Take your collection to fund your collection. You know, uh, if you've got a figure or a Funko Pop or something like that and it doesn't really fit in your collection anymore, and let's say, for instance, that Pop's, I'm going to use a Funko Pop. Uh, let's say it's worth stupid money, a couple hundred bucks, you know, because you were lucky and you found it and the pops went up and blah, blah, blah. And let's say you wanted a hot toy. Take that pop, sell it, use that money to buy a hot toy. Have your collection pay for itself. And that is just wonderful advice. And it makes perfect sense. Now, um, if that's not a route you want to go, but you have a lot of stuff and then donate it. If you want to donate it, find somewhere, you know, wow. 800. And now you only got one. Wow. Zodiac. Yeah, it is. I donate to Toys for Tots, and that's just because I'm a Marine, and that's the charity that I support. Um, but that's usually what I do at, around October of every year. I uh, usually start um, late September, early October, and I'll start bagging things up and getting them ready. And then one Saturday, I'll just throw them out in the car and take them to the donation site. Next custom video. Uh, I'm actually going to take a piece with me to work tomorrow uh, so I can look at it during my lunch break. I still need to customize my bat cycle. I still want to try to figure out how to get the, if, if the bones can come off uh, because I want to get into that engine compartment. Um, but that's the next thing I really want to uh, customize and show you guys how to do it. Nice dark night. Awesome. Hey, you can come up with some good deals. The Bat Raptor, uh, yes and no. Um, yes, there is progress, but no, not good progress. Because I think I'm overthinking it. I think I'm. I think I just need to go with my first couple of thoughts and go that route because I'm bad about that. I will get involved in something and then I'll look at it. And then I'll be thinking, well, what if we did it this way? And then I'll think about that. Then it's, I'm my own worst enemy when it comes to that. 
but I think my first option is my best option. So, um, but yes, there is some pr some progress going on with that. Yes, the Cygor, he's right over here, matter of fact. My, and I actually custom customized him. He is so much better. If you have one of these, please do a repaint on it. Customize this thing. It is so much cooler when you do a repaint on it. I mean, it's just, I mean, get some browns going. I mean, do a repaint on the armor. It's just so much. I mean, put some red on him, you know, right here on his damage. So much better. This thing... The only thing that I hate about this is why did I wait so long? <laughs> you know why I waited so long? Because I figured it hit clearance at some point. But these bad boys don't hit clearance. Uh, but if you do get one, uh, I actually did a video on this. It's not crazy hard. Um, I did notice something. And this is... I, so if any of y'all have a Cygor, I have to ask. Because my Cygor, his, his belly button is off. Like it's right here instead of like right in the middle. See, it's, it's off. It's over here. And what's funny is when I was customizing, I never even noticed that. But it sort of like sticks out like a sore thumb. It's like... <laughs> but it's like I'm literally holding him straight, like right there. Wait a minute. There you go. The belly button's off. <laughs> and I just noticed it the other day. I'm like, and no matter how you put the legs, you can't really get it to. I don't know. So, Dart, yours is that way? Okay. Uh, but this is a really fun figure uh, to, to customize and do a repaint off. I actually saw a, um, and I may I may do this one this way, or I may, I don't know, I might pick up another one, I don't know. Uh, but he actually went in and painted all the wires different colors, like, like red, blue, green, yellow. I'm telling you right now, think about it. All those tubing and wires right there. Oh my! I can't even I can't even begin to imagine that type of meticulous painting. But I will tell you this: you get in there and paint the wires. It looks dope. It looks wicked, wicked cool. Like legit wicked. Actually, yes, I did get that piece fixed on the uh, Stormtrooper. I put a little, little glue, a little, little toothpick, little glue. Yes. Uh, <laughs> the Bat Cycle Project is coming. Like I said earlier, I'm actually going to take the cycle with me to work tomorrow uh, so I can look at it during lunch. Um, I want to see if I can take the bones off of it. I know the head part. I saw some screws up there. I think that's just for the front end. Uh, the main thing is the rib cage area over the engine. I'd like to be able to take that off. And I'm, I'm afraid that's actually glued. I'm afraid. Um, Charlie, that actually would look pretty cool. I don't think you're going to get the belly button right unless you feel it. You army built these things? I could see I could see two or three of these for sure. I mean, that'd be a great army build. Hey, wait a minute. Can a trooper ride on top of a Cygor? Let's see here. Oh, that's so doable. Look at there. That's so doable. 
Cygors working in conjunction with clone troopers. Look at that. <laughs> you got 10 Cygors? Oh my goodness, that's great. See, this is the way my brain thinks. I mean, who's to say that stormtroopers didn't go to a planet that had cybernetic gorillas? I don't know where Saga was from. I truly don't. But, I mean, I'm just saying. And if you've done a little bit of customizing, because you got this little flat spot right here, you could almost create some kind of a chair system, but hey. Zodiac, consider it done. Because I'm already going to photograph this like this. I think that looks cool. I don't know. I mean, I personally think it works. I think, I think it looks good. I don't mind crossing the streams. You know, I don't mind crossing platforms, cannons, genres, whatever you want to call it. It's a toy and it's meant to have fun with. And if I want to mix up DC and Marvel or Stormtroopers and what she Hulk, she Hulk here. I mean, you know, come on. I'm just saying, it's your flipping toy. Do whatever you want with it. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting ready to wrap things up. I just now looked up. It's almost 8 o'clock. Um, again, John Wren, thank you so much. These awesome, awesome uh, mail call and gifts. Thank you so much for that. Really do appreciate it. This means a lot to me. Um Everybody voted. Thank you for that as well. I will remind everybody again next Tuesday if I make the 16 bracket. We'll see. We'll see what happens because I, I won't. I, I don't get email. I don't. I don't know if I'll get an email or not. I don't know. But uh, yeah. But I think we're going to call it an end to the stream tonight. Again, appreciate it. Um, as I come back over to here. You can vote as much as you want. I found that out. You just go back to the website. It'll start you over again and boom, boom, boom. Um, they've not evidently put any kind of flags where you can only vote once. So you can, you can go, uh, you can actually vote as much as you want. But I'm telling you right now, I'm telling you, if I make the, I'm already excited to be in the 64. Man, if I make it to the 32, it's going to be crazy. If I make it to the 16, it's going to be really crazy. If I make it down to the final two, oh, I might have to make a YouTube video for that. I mean, it's, it's going to be crazy because I ain't going to lie. Championship belt right there. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, the beer champion of the world, Greg Cook. I mean, I'm just saying. Intro. I'm just, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm out. Hope y'all had a wonderful time hanging out with me as much as I did hanging out with y'all. If you haven't seen my unboxing video, Peter B. Parker, that dropped today. Got a hunt video dropping tomorrow. Definitely check that out. If you're new to my channel, Please make sure to hit that subscribe button. Become part of the movement, the 21K in 2021. That's the movement. I got to get some shirts made. That's all I'm saying. Um, yeah, that's it. We're done for tonight. But always remember, toys refreshes your soul. And I'll see you guys next time. Good night, everybody.